Thank you so much for staying tuned. You just joined us. This is TMI Sunday's edition. And it's been uh, fireworks in the studio uh, about the ban on Twitter. Some of the opinion that, look, this is not so cool. It's like gagging Nigerians from expressing themselves, gagging freedom of information. What others are saying, it is necessary for uh, the calmness of the polity in Nigeria so that uh, this social media giant can just chill out for a while so that we can know what we're doing so we can make Nigeria whole again because of various tweets on Twitter that are pursuing or pressuring uh, the nation into anarchy. How do you feel about that? You know, accusations, counter accusation and all that anyway. And this segment is all about the amendment of the 1999 constitution and matters arising. Uh, you're joining us right now in the studio is uh, a legal practitioner an Islamic scholar, Al Haji Amin. Hello. Welcome to TMI on this edition. Thank Appreciate you your coming. Good morning, you. All right. Good morning. Good morning All right. We still have uh, uh, Barrister Patrick Isekunu and, of course, Barrister Matthew Edegase in the studio. And they're going to share their own opinions and thoughts on the amendment of the Constitution. Before that, I'd like to ask. Uh, uh, Barrister Amin Alao, what do you feel about the ban uh, on Twitter? You've, you've heard the opinion, you've heard the views. It's like they're not in tune with it. What are your views and opinion before going to uh, the discussion for this segment? Thank you very much. This is good to look at every issue holistically. <laughs> there are rights. And at the same time, you have where rights stop. For example, I have the right to live, but if I take another person's life wrongly, then I cannot be talking of my right to live. At the same time, we have the freedom of speech, but where we feel that freedom of, uh, of speech may lead to other more serious problems. For example, the government can decide to acquire property in public mm -hmm. interest and compensate you. Yes, you have your right to own property. Now, we have what is called provocation in law, and you have defense provocation. For example, someone has murdered the other and relied on provocation as defense. Sometimes that defense may avail him because you have the Men's rear and the actus reus. The men's rear, that is the intention, the actus reus, that is the act. Yes, he actually committed the act. But if it was examined that the intention to kill was not there, or out of provocation, could not, sometimes you may, you, may, you may get that defense and go stop free. Like an accident case, you are driving, you know that you're a pedestrian. Oh, you are a murderer. Your brakes were good. The person crossed. Then you cannot be say, oh, it's, it's called manslaughter. And if you have a particular your driver's license, your VI okay, especially your vehicle, everything is okay, then you may go stop free. Now, we are talking of Nigeria as a country. Nigeria is not a caused nation. Every Nigerian not only speaks ill of the presidency, they speak ill of legislature, they speak ill of judiciary, they speak ill of governors, of ministers, of individual Nigerians, of every establishment. Nigeria is not a caused nation. And when you start causing a particular thing, that, be, that thing becomes caused. Unless you wake up and say, Nigeria is a country that is blessed with milk and honey. And we need to save this country. We should not forget the voting pattern before this presidency came into power. The Eastern region. We knew how the voting pattern went. I do not forget that the president is talking about. We do not have only one person there as a Muslim or Buhari. We have President Osiba, we are the vice president, Osiba Ajo. He's a little professional, he's a lawyer, he's an excellent, he's a prof. So the sentiment of, oh, an Awusa man is there doing whatever he likes, should stop. We voted for an Awusa man and a Yoruba man, so the strategy should stop. So when we are making comments, there is nobody that is totally a devil. And there is nobody that's an angel. So we should try to balance it up. Mm. Is it fair for people to go and be killing policemen? Nobody's talking about that. Is it fair to go and be burning down island offices? What are you trying to do? You are trying to say there will be no election, there will be no democracy. 
So when somebody has taken some very wrong steps, which you will not take, and then somebody is provoked, and now took some steps too. Yes, it may be a wrong step, but something provoked that step. <laughs> and that is why anger is said that leaders should not take decision in anger. That a judge should not deliver judgment when you are angry. And the importance of consultation should not be overemphasized. Consult before taking decisions. Because if they are not taking, this matter will get compounded. And the people who have done wrong, who have inserted this provocation, may be justified to double and redouble their efforts in what they are doing. Because like we are not planning for them. So we should not only be looking at one side. What led to that? Are we not in this country? Are we coming on air and be condemning seriously in law in, in, in strong terms some of these unlawful killings going on in the country? At the time, the same presidency said, anyone you see with AK-47 illegally carried, they shoot him aside. There was no commendation for that. I'm not an Aousa man, but we should not, if you cannot separate a fight, do not add to it. That will happen during the Shemole Obazeki Palaba. But this tweet right now, <laughs> yes. are you in support of the ban? We should go to the point. No, 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 no but, but, but I like the point he's making. He's, 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 he's driving at the point. The ban. Something led to the ban. Yeah. Nobody's talking about what led to the ban. Do you want the country to go into flames, into war? Is it not better we have a country called Nigeria? Let me tell you, if you are not careful, those people will be sending you arms. They will send you arm Nigeria, send Biafra arms, send with you are armed, and they'll be making money from your country. Who is, then you will start. Who is so the now, men? Who are the Amity so so Hesmen? Hold on, hold on. By Samati, you spoke with that lady. Yes. So, you see, you don't, I, said, I started by saying, look at the whole thing holistically. So, you're talking about cause and effect. Yeah, that's cause and effect. Oh. Don't just be looking at it. Now, you, you, okay, you have your child, you pay the school fees. One day you say, I will not pay your school fees. And you say, he's a very bad man. He didn't pay the child's school fees, he's a lawyer. It is, but nobody wants to know what your child has done. And you are financed Asian black child to that level. So are you not justifying the tweet of the president? We are not justifying the tweet. I said that you should not, as leader, take decisions in anger. In anger. All right. Okay. And then something also led to the anger. So it's a delicate okay. matter. You understand the point now? But you are justifying the anger. You said no, you are no, justifying no, 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 no. You are putting one to his mouth, right? You are putting one to his mouth. Okay, okay. Let me leave it like that. Okay, okay. Let me leave it like that. You will define it. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Tell us. Oh, no. No, 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 He's talking about cause and effect. One way supporting the ban, and the other way also saying the president should have taken his decision in anger. So it's like he's in between, not for, not against. Causality and effect, that is on Thank point. One thing led to the other. Let's leave it at that. Let's see if pressure from the US, UK, EU, Canada, Norway, Ireland, and other countries may just make the FG change their mind on the ban on the use of Twitter in Nigeria. To the topic on the ground on this segment, amendment of the 1999 constitution is been on. Many Nigerians are saying we are not part of that constitution. Give us a new constitution. Omar Gege said, look, we cannot give you a new constitution, but we can adjust it. We'll take it bit by bit. As Omar saying, all these events, activities surrounding the amendment of this constitution, it may just be an effort in futility. The Nigerians have stated what they want. Good governance. Paris to Patrick, what do you feel about this? Uh, well, uh, the amendment of constitution is necessary because the constitution for 1963, top it is what we are preaching. So there are so many developments. There are new things involved. There are so many agitations that we are lucky to put in place to face reality. There are some, there are, let me give you an instance. There are some offenses you commit. They say, ah, oh, uh, the, the fine you pay for such a punishment is five, five naira. <laughs> that was, it was long. So in reality, can five naira, uh, uh, no. so to equate it, you not bring reality to say probably it's 500,000. So amendment is, that's why it's called amendment. It's necessary 
to put the recent happening, to put it in reality mm -hmm. to the uh, current standard of uh, things. That's why the amendment is necessary. There are so many agitations that the country need to address. Yeah, so it's a right time, it's a nice thing, but the only thing is that most of these things is also, also adjudged by, by the politicians. You see a session, for example, you see some person where they want to give them autonomy. Probably uh, some, some person, let me also, he has some assembly, yeah. where when it's autonomy to me, I'm a beneficiary. To, or I don't know they will vote say no, we don't need autonomy. Because there's something behind the scene trying to influence them. The senator, those whoever. I know, I know that what I'm trying to say is that you can only just you can only get something reasonable because these are influenced by so so, so many persons. If part that be, if your name is not being said among those who want to to the issue of the I mean, uh, constitutional amendment, you can't be there. And if your master will tell you this is what you need to do, this is what you have to say. It's a problem to us. All right. So, but the, the amendment of the constitution is a is a panacea to solve some of our problem. But the problem around us. All right. Yes. <coughs> Barrister Matthew, do you share his views and opinion? Uh, saying that the amendment may just be solution to some of these problems. Amendment of this constitution is uh, it amounts to scratching the surface of a very monstrous problem. Oh. Structural defects of any edifice will only lead, lead to its uh, disastrous collapse if it is not demolished, controlled demolition. Controlled and the, and demolition. Controlled demolition and the total oh, rebuilding. So that the, the foundation will be set right. This constitution is anchored on a very faulty foundation. That is why the country keep wobbling. It's not standing straight. Mm. And any amendment amounts to painting the sepulchre in, 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 in brilliant colors. The content cannot be painted. It's not a good place to be, no matter how beautiful the outside look. The painting and whitewashing, which, which they now call amendment, it's not a solution to the problem at all. It's like postponing the evil days. Now, a country, country constitution that has been the foundation of our problems does not need renovation. It needs demolition and, re and reconstruction. Let me tell you, the beneficiary of, uh, of the status quo will not make a sincere amendment of the constitution. And in any case, the electoral act that has been amended ever since the president has denied, declined his assent because this constitution gives him the power to hold, to, to hold that assent. A fresh constitution will not avail him that opportunity because we will not be subject to a new brand order. The sessional imbalance that we are complaining about in this country is leading to this agitation and multiple uh, crises. Mm -hmm. It's still derivable from that constitution, the 40 foundation. Where some persons, some group, some region are having unfair advantage over the rest. This is a structural problem. Mm, all right. Now, if you do not cancel this mm. and do a perfect document, which will lead to balance, proper balance and fair playing ground, mm. where all the regions will have equal say and stake, we will remain in a circle mm. where we motion without movement. Okay. Let there be a New, a brand new constitution. A brand new constitution. Not an innovation of a, of a failed uh, structure. All right. All right. Uh, uh, Barrister, I mean, you, you heard him. He said there should be a constructive demolition, so to speak. A controlled demolition. A controlled demolition of a constitution yeah. that can give rise to a brand new constitution. What do you have to say about this suggestion? Thank you very much. Everyone is entitled to his opinion in uh, issues like this. Wide consultation is required, and we hope that uh, those in authority are also listening to this type of discussion. The Constitution has right to be amendment. We have the right to amend the Constitution. In fact, as many times as possible, where there is need to amend the Constitution. And we have the legislative houses. This same Constitution brought them to office, and we have been having one wonders why it is now that we are talking and agitating for the amendment or substitution of the constitution. Of course, the reason is clear because all the agitations all over the country. What it means is that, assuming we are not faced with these agitations, people will have clamored for amendment of the constitution. So, the amendment of the constitution is seen 
as a strategy to divert people's attention from the wrong means of those in authority. Is it when you now amend the constitution that the governors will not look to your treasury? Or are we going to amend the constitution to ensure that the take home pay of the uh, members of the state and House of Reps are sliced down? Are we going to amend the constitution to ensure that there is no foreign trips with our, foreign, what our, with, with our resources for those in authority? If you if you should use our foreign our money to go on foreign trip, then I as a Nigerian too, I should be able to say government, I won't go abroad, go for treatment. Give me money. You to buy soya in Saudi Arabia. Yes. Oh. Give me money. Seriously. <laughs> you see, our prophet said that he who is appointed to public office, if he has no house, he may build one. If he has no mount, he ride. Those is horses and camels. He may acquire one. If he has no servant, he may acquire one. If he doesn't have a wife, he may marry. That is for public form, for your convenience, so I can face the work, mm. the assignment. He says, he who acquires more than that is unjust. Okay. He who acquires more than that is unjust. So, the need to amend the constitution, of course, at this period we are, is very, very important, so that we can douse the tension. Mm. Let us see if we can really have peace. Because real peace is not just the absence of conflict but the presence of justice so we need fairness justice and equity and so let us have a ground norm the constitution that can really make us achieve this but the problem is even if the car is good and the driver is bad what happens the journey won't be smooth right. so we need to also think of amending our minds okay as nigerians both the leaders and the followers okay all right, uh, Ambassador Patrick. Well, you you heard him. He said uh, the reason for this amendment is to douse pressure because the pressure is really much in Nigeria. Go to the north, the south, the east, and the west. You get to hear some groups saying that they want to succeed, they want to leave, they want to be on their own because according to them, they are perceiving just some fair treatment. According to them, they've been treated unjustly, and the best thing for them to do is to be on their own. Do you think with the amendment of this constitution? is going to reduce the pressure. Well, it, it will dance down the pressure. But I told you, I said it's a panacea to sort of this quagmire. I said it here some minutes ago. You see, but the intention behind the amendment is also what matters. Because if we amend the letter today, the presidency goes outside doing what they will feed on their own. The intention still remain. By main statement. By main statement. You know, like why we, we operated the statement of the president on the issue of the civil war. Uh, so what I'm trying to say is that no matter the amendment, if you have good intention, give the, the, amend, the, the amend those things they add it. Then but the president had a role to play, you have to be proactive in terms of speech, in terms of because you must engage the people. For you to have peace, eh? Eh, for you to get justice, peace, there must be fairness. Without that, it's a certain infertility of your time. So the other amend, the amendment is necessary to bring in reality some present thing. At the same time, above all, is the character of the president. Hmm. Because if you miss you talk to them, you can solve problems. Peace is always the best. To me, I told you the other what he did. Where the president brought that leave? How he got his, uh, how, how he made it. So to think of starting like Afghanistan, where you are there, you war lord, don't watch television, don't read newspaper here and here. At the end of the day, where's uh, the president today? It's nowhere to be found, he's dead. So war, uh, the anger, tension and not solve problems as the president. We should try and make proactive action. Go around from a pacify this pool. Table talk can solve this problem. The question of men can go its own way. But no matter what you are men, at the end of the day, the presidency is working on their side. They are anti some persons, it will not work. We still remember where we are. Right. The agitation will continue. All right. Some are saying this exercise is an exercise in futility. Uh, do you share that view, Barrister Matthew? If you don't know that the whole thing is done in a clandestine manner. Because the motive, the, the motive is very sinister, and the sincerity is lacking of purpose. It's like you are disturbing my peaceful breakfast, this noisy neighbor. Let's find a way to make him keep quiet so that the eating will continue. That's what they are doing. The beneficiary of this uh, status quo, the defective uh, system, they don't even want a change of it from their inner mind. If not for this agitation and acrimony, 
that is now disturbing their peace. They are not doing it for national interest for concern of genuine reform. Like he mentioned, if there were no agitation, don't they see the need to have a constitution? Do they need to be pushed to do it? If they are for the people, should they have the poor people at mind at all times? Should they wait till people are killed, people are killed before they not say, oh, let's stop it? Shouldn't they be proactive? The question is this. Those who are made from the system, in terms of regions or personalities, they don't want a change or the status quo. What they are doing is cosmetic approach. It's not even sincere amendment. It's just a time-buying uh, gimmick. Let's see if we can make this tension die down. Later, we'll revert back to our old order. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the public hearing they claim to be doing, before we know it, it's already done. We saw somebody being walked out and called a tout in the West by a sitting senator. He called a fellow woman a tout. We don't want tout in this hall. Is there a tout citizen and a, a, a psychedelic citizen by categorization? Is the constitutional amendment a tout even excluded from making their imputes? Assuming the person agreed that I'm a tout, I'm a Nigerian citizen. I want to go and express my own, my own uh, grievance and put in my own impute. You say, no, because you are a tout, don't come. That was what uh, Senator Tinubu did. It was, it's not, it's not, see, that's a service senator. That shows the mindset. They don't want people to, people impute to be, uh, to be put into the exercise. Mm -hmm. It's an elitist thing. Those who are in charge want to, they want to control the process mm -hmm. in a way that there will not, there will not be fundamental touch mm -hmm. of the fabrics of this very def defective document, the Nigeria Constitution. So if that's what they are doing, is that not, does that amount to postpone the evil days with that solve any problem? If you, do, if you stop war from happening this year and the war is going to happen next year, 10 years after, have you achieved anything? Anyway, nobody's talking about war, right? Crisis is war. What, what, what are uh, we? Uh, 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 he uh, said all these are just cosmetic torch and is that TMI? Every opinion counts. Thank you so much for staying tuned. It's all about the Constitution Amendment and, of course, matters arising. Al Haji Amin Allaho, we are with you before we went on that break. Please continue with the point you were making. I was saying that there should be limits to social events being attended by those in public office. You have a lot of assignments on your table in the state or whichever position you occupy. That should be limited. And of course, we need to also visit another acts. So that, for example, the nomination form, now if I want to contest for an election, I can afford that form. Or we can just, three of us can afford that form. But it has been placed at a rate that it is meant for a particular class in this country. No matter how you aspire, you cannot achieve it. You cannot reach there. Then all the so-called allowances, wardrobe allowance, furniture allowance, toilet and bedroom allowance that people use to cleverly, you see, my salary is just this an amount. But look at the allowances. All this to stop. You see. No matter how beautifully dressed you are as a leader, changing your wardrobe every now and then, if the masses you represent are suffering, of what use is your beautiful attire? But if you wear only even one attire every day, and the people in your country, in your state, in your local government, they are enjoying, you are blessed. Know that whatever you accumulate and coagulate, you will leave it behind. We are hearing about Bacha Lut. Where is the person today? You pack what you do not need. We shall all die one day and leave it behind. So we should have this sincere interest of nation at heart. And then the followers too. It's not only the leaders, the leaders, leaders. Some followers will tell you, if I happen to be in that position, I will do worse. <laughs> and that explains why, if you look at the history, bad, pharaoh, bad leader like Pharaoh was destroyed by Almighty God. And then bad followers, like the followers of Noah, were also destroyed. Sometimes you be the leader, sometimes you be the followers. followers. Mm. So we need good followership too. Because most of the excesses committed by these leaders, we have the followers backing them up. For example, is it possible for a governor to embezzle without the cooperation of the civil servants? It's not possible. Mm. We have people who are delegated to loot the strategy. Okay, you go and pay 10, 10 million to this account, go to this bank and go to that bank. 
Turn we do it. So there is need to really look at the constitution to make it one that can serve the interest of the nation sincerely. Okay. And we should not only amend, we should try to also amend our mind, adjust our ways, so that we can really be devoted and sincere to okay. ensure that this country succeeds. All right. Now, some have these notions that some part of the constitution is uh, like untouchable. And uh, these are the parts that Nigerians, average Nigerians, only really want to be touched. So, how do you think they can go about this? Uh, you see, it, it, it depends on the president. I don't know if you told him, has a role to play if you want to change things. Because if I do they send to, this say, amendment of the team, I said, they already man made. That's why you see, some people believe that it's just a psychological diversion. What they're doing now just to buy time because you see the way behind it is what matters there are a lot of issues for instance the issue of our president our chairman should be removed from presidency give it to us or other, or other arm of government because that arm of government does not consider any nation that's not what i mean now now it's so a situation whereby a president president peace and chairman, chairman of his choice and a same man that organized his election can you, can you ever get a truth justice that election? It's all the thing of having a constitution that need to be changed. We took a bad issue of uh, decentralization of powers. Let us give push them to states, like with state having state police. I'm talking about instance, not whereby you have to depend on Abuja. You can see the wonders the vigilantes are doing. Today we have little peace called activities. I won't lie to you. It's also necessary to decentralize it. Then issue of uh, monetary allocation. Let the let no need for joint account between the, uh, the local government and the state government. Is it the total of government? Let the color what belong to them alone. Not the government taking on their chairing at that time. The local government they are already whipping child. This, they should be centralized. Allow them to have what belongs to them. There are some of the Tibet, those in power will not allow some of the because of their selfish reason. Mm. And many others, which I would not like to mention. I said, it is certainty of purpose of the president that will determine the future of things, the source of things. Because we are seeing a situation whereby those they have to make if their own we have assembly, for instance, last time, when you say financial autonomy, they voted against themselves. Not only really, they are small behind the scene. <laughs> That's the truth of the matter. Mm. So <laughs> so oh. yes, so okay. the other of purpose. But if you tell us they are, if you're ready to help us or the governor, they should tell us. All right. So whatever uh, don't hear and hear. Is that something you think God have been monitored? Okay, uh, 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 <laughs> Barrister Matthew, he said uh, uh, people have been monitored. There are some guys behind uh, the string pulling the strings. Now, uh, some of you are saying that we have some part of this constitution that cannot be touched. He mentioned some. Now, if those parts are not touched, can we regard this as an amendment or what? I started my own contribution by saying mm. it amounts to scratching the surface, leaving the problem. Painting the sepulchre in brilliant colors does not change the fact that the content in the sepulchre is rotting skeleton. The question is that people are ready to preserve that content and begin to decorate the surface just to deceive, beguile the people. The question I will ask is this. People have been clamoring for a return to parliamentary, for instance. These people who are beneficiary of this federal Floss, uh, federal that is uh, I mean, a, a unitary system that is disguising and masquerading as a, uni as a federal system. Mm -hmm. We never want it to change. Now, people have asked for a reduction of the National Assembly structure mm -hmm. from by camera to unicamera. Uni now, let me ask you, will the House of Rep one day I want to be scrapped? Or will the Senate one day I want to be scrapped so that you retain it? They will not. So these, these vested interest stakeholders are the one midwifing the, the so-called amendment. You can't tell somebody who is feeding fat on a system to stop that system from uh, being what it is. The tendency is that the nature of man is that it will preserve what it benefits from. Mm. The question is, throw this thing back to the people. That's what people are saying, fresh constitution. How do you spoke? They are infested. They can't treat it. They can't treat it. They will only pretend to be doing it, but they will perfect even the imperfection, so that we, uh, the predicament will be prop, uh, formally and properly compounded. We we'll remain in square one. Hmm. Motion without movement. Wow. You've heard him. Motion without movement. 
Uh, does it now mean that the presidents involved in American constitution, they cannot be trusted, Barista I mean, Because someone suggested scrapping the Senate, bring the number of the House of Rep members, reduce their salary, make it part-time pay. They will base. never subscribe to that. They and we will definitely uh, be on our way to Eduardo. Do you see them doing this? As you rightly said, we have leaders, unfortunately, who do not have the interest of the nation or the masses at heart. They are after, generally after their selfish interests. We have few exceptions, but you see the majority are after uh, their own interest. And unfortunately, we elected those leaders. I always say, Prince Lam says that your leaders will be as you deserve. So the leaders we are having today, those are the leaders we deserve. We are the ones that assisted them in snatching the ballot boxes in rigging the elections. And also coming out to declare the election as not only free, fair, and Incredible. credible. The same followers. The same followers. Now, and you will discover that as we speak, you see have the followers who are benefiting immensely from the system. And if care is not taken, if a referendum is conducted, you may be surprised the number of those who will be saying no to amendment, no leave to constitution and leave, why leave it like that, it's okay. So, if they do not exist in reality, it can be sponsored. It's a matter of, oh, give them something, and then you see placards on the streets. Yes, you see placards on the streets. What you cannot afford to sponsor, you see it. So, that is why there is very serious need for us to always listen to God. There is no, I, no, no, I, no, I will not talk of God. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, we claim to be Muslims and Christians by name. Christ said that it will be easier for the camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for the rich man to enter paradise. But today, we are not following Christ. Mama said, the poor ones will be in paradise 500 years before the rich. But you are all aspiring to be rich. I always make mention of Nelson Mandela, 27 years in prison. Martin Luther King Jr. And those who have made sacrifice, including the Muhammad and Jesus, it was sacrifice they made for their people. That is why their names are retained. They do not have bank accounts or mansions here and there. But today, we believe we want to get everything. We are forgetful of taking care of people in our, in our country. And of course, if you can do that, go there where we have elected you, we have entrusted you. We are giving you our power. Please go and represent us. Go and take care of us. Make laws that will govern us. We will obey you. But if you go there, you are not representing our interests. Of course, people will agitate. Mm. They will not be happy. So we are also appealing to the followers yeah, to right. make meaningful contributions to this constitutional amendment or whether it will be a whole constitution we are going to uh, no start off from scratch so that we can really move forward. Nigeria is a blessed nation in terms of natural resources but unfortunately, we have human disasters. All right. Unfortunately, we don't have, according to him, we have human disasters. Natural, well, uh, many people will not agree to that all the same. But, I agree uh, to that. I said many will not agree to that. Uh, don't uh, you may agree, many people will not agree to that, okay? We are, we, are, we are really blessed abundantly in natural resources. What about the managers? Are they managing it well? Uh, that is a question. I think that should be the right frame or phrase you should use, okay? Now, to, to, to call it a wrap on this show because our time is up, what do you think uh, this person in charge of amending the Constitution should do? Because Omar Gige, uh, the Deputy Senate President, said giving Nigeria a new Constitution for now is not possible. What do you think should be done? One minute each. Barrister Patrick. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I just heard him advise them to look at God. Doing their things because only God can look up to because most things are being delegated by man. For us to have a fair amendment, they should look at God because, like uh, my brother said, like said here, that uh, we shouldn't forget that we shall live this life, this world. Uh, what can we be remembered for? It should be paramount in their mind, they should be honest. All right, they should be honest. Yes. Thank you so, so much, Barrister uh, Patrick Isekwin. Barrister Matthew, they can say, what's your final opinion on this, on this discussion? A starting point to, for the public to buy into their own sincerity of purpose would have been the amended electoral acts, which is the 
the gateway to electing uh, credible representatives who will actually set the wishes, of, the wishes of the people, which they have put in their in, in their cupboard. People who are who are sitting on that very golden opportunity to liberate the system, to clear arrest them, cannot be trusted to amend the constitution wholesome, wholesale. So they would have used that as an advertisement uh, jingle. That they fail to do. Mm. They are skipping that to take up a bigger responsibility when they have failed in their lesser one. So the public trust is, is, is absent. And I do not think any meaningful thing can come out of this. Yeah, Let us be sincere to ourselves. Well, I pray something meaningful should come out of it. Alhaji, I mean, your final line on this Thank discussion. You, I want to remind leaders of the oath of office you took when you came into office. Go back, take the oath of office and peruse it and try to act in line with it. Even the laws that we have already in the Constitution are not being followed, not being implemented. Mm. Look at the financial autonomy, judiciary, legislature, why are they sitting in the governor's pockets? So we should have a change of mindset and have the fear of God. Because we shall all give account to God on the day of judgment of how we handle the affairs of people. And the followers, the same thing. You shall also give account to God of how obedient you are to your leaders. Right. Stop beating traffic lights. Thank you. Thank you so, so much, gentlemen. I appreciate the wonderful analysis. They are all learned. And since I'm among them also, maybe just, maybe I can just be learned also. <laughs> By association. <laughs> By association. Yeah. Well, you've heard the opinions you have, the views, which entirely, uh, entirely, yes, it has nothing to do with ITV, but they spoke their mind. Putting into cognizance the rules and regulations governing the airwaves. It's all about national issues. I believe that one way or another, they have spoken your mind also on all these issues. Take a look at this report. Twitter ban Nigeria's economy declines by over 2 billion naira in one day. Think about that. And of course, for the constitutional amendment, is it going to favor the masses? Is it going to favor Nigerians? Is it going to make Nigeria better? These are the questions emanating from the hearts of the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Well, Nigeria is our country. If we want it to be solid, to be good for all of us, we have to do the right thing. If you're a leader, lead well. If you're a follower, follow up. Because Nigeria is our home. There is no place like home. Bye for now.